everyone. I'm going to try something new this year. I'm going to try and uh, overwinter some peppers. I'm in the. Uh, I'm just below the border of uh, Scotland, actually in the in the northeast of England, and we don't typically get very hot weather in the winter. So I've got some pepper plants that didn't really produce that well, but they actually did get quite healthy. Um, I think I just planted them a little bit too late. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and keep them over the winter in the garage or next to the kitchen uh, just to try and keep them going. So this is what I've got. Now it's already starting to wilt because the weather is getting cold now. So I don't know if it's going to work. But there's a one there at the back that, you know, looks quite healthy but you know it's got a big stem on there I mean there's the one there it's actually got a pepper on and I don't know if it's gonna work but you know because peppers are perennial plants they will produce year after year if the environment is correct now we don't have the environment up here and I don't have a heated greenhouse so I'm gonna have to do some experiments over the winter and I'll keep you posted on how it goes but for now let's uh, get these dug up and we'll go from there I've taken the pepper plant out. <clears throat> I've got a pretty good wedge of soil with a ball of soil from around it. Um, I've kept the pepper in the soil that it was in. Uh, some people advise shaking the soil out and get, getting access to the roots, shaking the roots out, possibly in some cases trimming the roots back if the pot's not big enough. Um, but I think as this is my first time, put everything in there including the soil from the garden. You see it's actually still got the pepper on there. So you've got to trim the peppers off and then trim back some of the leaves. So you can see some of these are starting to wilt actually because the temperature has dropped and I don't know if I'm going to be able to save it. But I'm going to try. And I've just noticed as well on the pepper that I've already taken out is that see the bottom of the pepper has actually gone woody and you can see where it turns into the green the further up it goes. Now I don't know but I'm hoping that that is the re a reaction to the environment so it's actually hardening itself up for the winter and um, that would be pretty cool if that was actually the case. And you know, looks like that's what it is. I mean, I've got some lavender around the corner, and it does the same thing over winter, it gets woody and stuff. So, maybe this is the plant's natural defense system kicking in because the other pepper plants I've noticed that they're not quite as woody, although they are starting to turn woody now. So, maybe this is a good time to be taking them in. This is the second plant pepper plant that I've pulled out, and I did actually produce two not so good peppers, and it does look kind of dead. <laughs> um, you can see the leaves are all wilted there might be a little bit of life there so it doesn't look like it's got much left in it but that's the the root ball cleaned off feels a little bit light actually like it's it's not very dense you know the weight I do have a couple of other plants that I might pull out because one does actually have a pepper on it which I might use instead of this one but I'm gonna plant this up anyway and just see what happens All right so there's the three plants I've managed to save. You can tell the light's pretty dark now. It's early night here up in uh, the north of England. I planted them too late in the season, that's why they didn't grow, and I didn't have them under cover properly. So a couple of days ago, 
I dug out some pepper plants from the garden bed outside and it was a good job I did because later on that night we actually had the first frost of the year so it was pretty good coincidental completely lucky timing so what I did after I got them in the pot was I brought them inside the house and I started to trim uh, to trim off all of the wilted leaves uh, on each of the plants using the you know the rule of the three D's dead diseased or dying so I've tried to trim everything down towards that that sort of pattern so this is the three plants that we took out the other day after they've been trimmed and this one this one was the large one that bore a few fruits over the season so all I did with this was I took off the pepper that was on there and I took a couple of branches off from the top just where the leaves looked like they were really sort of wilting. Now I have read about this and apparently once you bring them inside the, the leaves do start to, to sort of hang and wilt and that's apparently natural after they've been brought in so I'm just going to leave that for now. Uh, just to see just to see what happens this is the second plant um, the one that did have a fruit on and didn't look like it was dying I cut off most of the top of this one you can see here here and here and at the back there but now you see all of the leaves have wilted still you know they still feel alive I suppose but you can see they're going through a pretty rough time and then this one was the dead one or the one that looked looked the least full of life and I've taken every leaf off this and it's basically now just a a stem with a pretty interesting pattern actually it's quite symmetrical really the way it's you know grown see it had one here and one here and then it's branched off in perfect unison like a tripod across the top but you notice I cut everything off it, all of the, the the edges have gone a bit black, but the, these ones, these very thin ones at the top, they've started to kind of wilt and probably should take them off now. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick update of what had happened after the, the plants came inside. So I'll probably do another video in a couple of weeks' time or append a video to the end of this one just to give you a, a kind of an update in a few weeks' time to see how these plants do. And then throughout the winter, and hopefully, you know, I can keep them alive for next year. And if I do manage to do that, they should bear some decent fruit if I get them out early enough next year, which I didn't do this year. Okay, that's enough for now then. Cheers.